Sweet Holy Spirit, Sweet Heavenly Dove, stay right here with us and fill us with your love. Cover us, Father. Preserve our going out and our coming in. God, we thank you one more time for allowing us to see another day. Proverbs 4, verse 20 to 27 reads, My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth, and perverse lips put far from thee. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. And so the word of the Lord is reminding us this morning that we are to incline our ears, give heed, give attention to the words of God. For in it we find wisdom. In it we attain understanding. Do not depart from the words of God. Let not your heart stray from it because it gives us health. The word of God, the scripture says, it gives us life. And when we find wisdom, it brings health to all our flesh. It goes on to warn us that we should not let our heart depart from the word of God. We should put away deceitfulness out of our, our mouth, out of our life. We should not deceive others because we can end up deceiving even ourselves if we are led astray with our lips, our thoughts. One person said you can tell a lie repeatedly until it appears to be truth when it's not truth. Look, observe, think about the places that your feet will lead you to. Turn not to the right, nor to the left. Turn not away from the word of God. And ensure that your feet do not lead you into evil. Father in heaven, you know our hearts. You know our strengths. You know our weaknesses. God Almighty, if we are not careful, we can be led astray. Because we know we are not perfect, but perfection is in you. And with you in us, God, we too can strive for perfection. God, we know that perfection does not mean that we have never erred. But God, we can strive for perfection by allowing your words to abide in our hearts so we will not sin against you. God, I pray that you will be with us. As we go throughout today, mighty God, I pray that you will cover your people, anoint us with your presence, guard us with your loving arms. We place everything in your hands today and we say thanks in Yeshua's name. Amen. God bless you again for tuning in. Until next time, may the peace of God be with you. May the peace of God come
cover you in time of storm, in time of difficulties. Remember, there is peace when God is in it. God bless you.